today is the Exeter Senate Wallet. It's a slim cousin to its partner, the Parliament, and it has capacity. It's amazing. Watch. Welcome to Wallatopia. For full transcripts and fun surveys, go to wallatopia.info. Now, let's open up the Exter Senate wallet. This is a slim wallet. And as we open this up, you can see that it's a beautiful blue color and it comes with this extra band. We'll talk about this in a second. I don't think that it's really an extra band so much as an option to help you slim down this particular wallet that we have here. And it comes in a nice good box, good gift presentation that you can utilize. So let's uh, talk about the quality of this. The a uh, company provides a 30-day money-back guarantee and also a 12-month warranty and it's made from top grain leather sourced in Europe. It's very thin leather which is required to, to wrap around the box that you see in here and this is um, it seems like it's chromed leather, uh, could be veg tanned, it's kind of neutral, it's kind of hard to tell there. Uh, the box slider is made from an impact resistant plastic from what we can see which ensures that it'll provide protection if it's dropped or something heavy rests on it. The trigger mechanism you see here and the internals in here are made from plastic as well. Regarding that, cards can get stuck and they can get pressed into the chamber and the plastic and it can reduce the number of cards that you can carry in the slider box. Uh, but the car si slider system itself is triggered pr pretty straightforward and is uh, one of the more straightforward triggering systems that I'm used to, uh, used to seeing from other vendors. And so, if anything was going to go wrong, it wouldn't be because this trigger would break off. All that said, there is a cool factor to the footprint in this, uh, in this compact design. When cards are in the box, it has a rubber friction insert that prevents cards from coming out due to force. So if they're in here and you're trying to do this, it will not come out. But it's still, And that's why it provides a smooth extraction instead of launching cards out of here when the trigger is pressed. So, let's now go through the features of this particular wallet. With this particular wallet, you'll notice that in the front here, it comes uh, what appears to be with just a strap and it's got this fast trigger down here which pulls cards out from here. Well, we'll look at that in just a second but I want to look at this strap. So this isn't just a money strap which it appears to be and it can be used for that. If we turn this on its side you'll notice that on the other side here we actually have what looks to be like a band compartment and you can put more cards in here and we will do that as we get in the card insertion test. It also has a slot for one more card here in the front. So this is a single slot in the front that uh, provides the ability to put a card in, provides the ability to put probably up to 10 cards or so right in here, as well as the six cards or so that we should be able to get towards the top in the card slider system. And then on this side, we have the cash strap. Now, what we can do here is remove this if we'd like and we can replace this with this, which is the additional strap that it comes with. And it's not really a replacement strap so much as it is a strap that uh, allows you to replace this piece here with something that is more streamlined than having that. And so right now with this, it is just a cash strap with the card slider system in a very simple, sleek form. And that is the features of this particular wallet. Now let's get into the card insertion test. As you can see from the card insertion test, we were able to get six cards into the slider. The cards were used, were not embossed, and that is something to be aware of. Embossing means that uh, the cards have raised numbers that are pressed into the plastic, and with that, you could only get in four to six cards in here if you were mixing bossed and embossed. Um, with the extended feature, it can accept an additional, we had 10 cards in there, and that's about the maximum, so you know, a good three to five to seven are good in there as well as a full 10 slips of cash here on this outside strap. And that's the difference of what the, the company provides between the card band and the extension and just the right here as well as the band itself. So between the two, depending on your configuration, you can hold between six to 16 cards. 
The pricing for this wall is $69. I think that's expensive for this particular mechanism, considering it's plastic and considering you can find similar slider mechanisms, mechanisms with roughly the same uh, uh, capabilities for about half the price. I still think it's in the $45 to $55 range. Usability is excellent because access to your cards are quick and precise, and the cash placement on the outside here, right here, is immediate. So, uh, the measurement itself measures 4.1 inches tall, 2.5 inches wide, and is 0.59 inches thin, which makes this not much thicker than a normal wallet you would normally carry. And again, there's just the cool factor here. And uh, it, it just is really a good footprint on here. The perception is that the card slider system is clever, it's quick, and they've built up a good brand around this concept. The company also has trackable versions of this Senate wallet. Um, and we did a prior review on the Extra Parliament Bifold Wallet, so go take a look at that in our channel. In the meantime, uh, we will plan a comparison between these two in the future. Or you can go over to Wallatopia.info and enter your email to receive email notifications of when the wallet reviews are done, and you can win opportunities to, or have opportunities to win prizes through drawings. Finally, let's get into the ratings. For quality, we're going to give it a 4. For pricing, a 2. For features, we're going to give it a 4. Usability will be a 4. And perception is a 4 which leaves us with a final score of 3.6 out of 5 or 36 out of 50. We hope you'll stick around for some of our other reviews. Subscribe, ring the bell, and we look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks, bye.